Hello my full moon beauties. Welcome to a video here on the Raising Wellness channel. You may notice that the quality is different. I am recording this on my computer because this month has thrown me for a loop as I'm sure it has done for a lot of you. As you remember in our tarot card reading, this is really a time about diving deeper, finding that light you know, really diving in and exploring things. And then this new moon that we had in Pisces was really about allowing yourself to flow, allowing yourself to be present and to just follow the flowing, watery, dreamy kind of elements of your life that the universe is presenting. And that following that flowy, dreamy energy of Pisces was going to help bring you back into alignment, help shed some light on uh, rules that you want to have in your life and be running your life by, and also the rules that you've kind of adopted from other people's playbooks. So with that all being said, this full moon is in zero degrees of Libra, and this is kind of an interesting moon phase here because we have a full moon here in Libra and we're going to have another full moon in Libra in April. So there's going to be not just this time of rebirth and growth because of the equinox that's happening right now and also from manifesting from the new moon. There's going to be this time of big growth from not just full moon to the next new moon but from full moon their new moon into the next full moon. Excuse my notes here on the side. Um, this is going to be a raw and unedited video, just so you guys know. Um, and this full moon in Libra, so the characteristics of Libra are really about, my notes are about to fly away, um, is really about focusing on creating harmony in relationships. So if you know a lot of Libras, they tend to get along with a lot of people because they really like to focus on bringing harmony into the entire collective, into everyone rather than just the self. And what's um, really interesting about the Libra is that it is blunt and honest. When it sees imbalances, it immediately tries to fix them rather than push them to the side or resist them, kind of cover them up and, and toss them away. It wants to fix them right then and there. So with this full moon, in Libra and the Sun now moving into Aries you're going to have this kind of duality that's showing up in your relationships between um, this Aryan self this single self and then the Libra who focuses on you know like the togetherness so you have that independence here with Aries and the Sun and then the togetherness aspect of wanting to fix imbalances and work together with the Libra in the full moon energy so you're gonna see that kind of popping up a lot in your relationship sphere the full moon's really here to help brightly shed light onto those areas so make sure that you are looking in those areas in your relationships. Again, we've spoken about this in prior videos, your relationship with yourself, your relationship with your spouse or a loved one, um, your relationship with your family or your work, any of those things. So relationship isn't just you and one other person. It could be a, a bunch of different things. So look in those different areas of relationships that you have in your life. And instead of tuning out or ignoring or resisting whatever arises, this is really a time to one, deeply listen and two, learn how to respond rather than react. So have mindful communications to come to a resolution and deeply listen so that you can observe, is this um, a perspective, a relationship, um, something that is yours to grow and expand or is it something that now needs to be let go and released so that you can grow into that next phase and expand and put more energy into that next phase. And this Aryan energy is really going to help to kickstart, start the engines, really um, bring about shift and change if you First, do this work with the full moon, shed light on what's yours to expand and what's yours to let go of with deep listening and also mindful 
um, communication that's trying to bring about harmony. If you guys don't know a lot about mindful communication, I did do a video on mindful communication, different tools that you can use, and I will link that down below this video so that you can watch it. It's also the story of how I took out all my dreadlocks, just got a haircut today, um, side note. <laughs> So I hope that you guys will go and look at that video if you need more help knowing how to mindfully connect and communicate what it is you need, what it is you want to see in the world. I think my dog is trying to come into the room right now. Um, so make sure you go check out that video so that you have the tools there for you. And what else did I want to talk about? Okay, so we're moving from Pisces to Aries. So we are in this Pisces watery, dreamy kind of fluid flowing energy and we're moving into airy season which is a fire sign so this is really the springtime you know a time of rebirth regrowth and with the Uranus shifting into Taurus for the next seven years it's beginning of the shift we're kind of like a couple of weeks maybe a month into this shift it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable whatever the the um, shift to starting the engines is. So this time where the full moon is in Libra, you're going to be seeing those relationships, deeply listening and understanding and observing the relationships. And when you discover when that light is shed upon the relationships, whatever they are, it may be uncomfortable to let them go. It may be uncomfortable to see them as they truly are without any kind of cloudy lens perspective looking at them. Um, but just allow yourself to be in the uncomfortable. Again, don't resist. The um, This uncomfortableness is here to teach you something and here to help you integrate something into your being right now. And that's what's What's really important to take home with you is to allow yourself to be uncomfortable. We've been practicing a lot with being uncomfortable this past month with the new moon in Pisces and just kind of being in that flowy wateriness. Um, so just allow yourself to be uncomfortable instead of resisting something that maybe you have been resisting for so, so, so long. It's trying to tell you something. It's trying to show you something, shed light on something. So pay attention, deeply listen, and begin to observe what is yours to grow, what is really in alignment with you, what is really in alignment with what you want to bring into this world, and what is yours to let go of because it is a learned habit or something you picked up from someone else's playbook, you know, um, something that you learned as a child that your parents said to you once that you've just picked up and held on to and it doesn't really serve you anymore. So just observe and allow yourself to deeply listen and just be a little bit uncomfortable with this full moon energy that you're going to be feeling and working with for the next couple of weeks. And just allow yourself to go deeper. Have those deeper more uncomfortable conversations and if it feels better to do that deep internal work um, or deep conversations internally then do that by all means this doesn't mean that you have to go out and speak right to that person and be like hey this is how I'm feeling you're making me feel like this la 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 be really blunt and honest because that's what that Libra energy wants to do but sometimes it's better to deeply listen, have that internal conversation with yourself first, and then in the next two weeks, see where it is that you can take action based upon what you're learning, what's what light is being shed onto your relationships area during this full moon. It's, it's best to take action around like a week and a half, two weeks post full moon, because this is really a time for you to observe, really a time for you to... Um, start listening and learning and again like I said in the beginning of this video we are going to be having this full moon in zero degrees in Libra right now on the 20th of March 2019 and then we're going to be having another one in April so it's a longer 
cycle of um, cleansing these rules that maybe serve you still and you can expand and grow or maybe no longer serve you. So give yourself patience and time. Um, allow yourself to really be in it. I know a lot of times a lot of us are trying to immediately seek healing and I get that. We don't want to be in that uncomfortable state. We want to just break through and break free but there's something here to be learned that hasn't been learned yet. So Give yourself time and patience to grow with it, to be uncomfortable, to deeply listen, and then mindfully communicate. Again, I will link that video about mindful communication down below so that you guys can have the tools to use in the next week and a half to two weeks. And just really practice patience with yourself and moving through this time right now. So much light is going to be shed and needs to be shed, so just really focus on on that and being present with that. Um, let's see what else did I want to talk to you guys about. Um, so because this is a recording on my camera, raw, unedited, I'm going to bring you through just a small meditation practice. I know you guys really enjoy the meditations that I do on here and there will for sure be more, but this past month has really thrown me for a loop and is and um, I'm already tuning into this full moon energy of things that need to shift and change with raising wellness where my energy is being put locally um, needs to shift and change so that I can spend more time here with you guys which is what I really really love is investing in this community and I have some really exciting projects coming out for you guys and I need that time to really dive in and cultivate them. Um, so I have a a video that's going to be coming out at the end of this month um, talking a little bit more about the projects I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and how you can get involved and how it can help support you while I'm going through this transition because I really want to help support you guys. Um, and I'll talk about some of the things that are going to be shifting and changing that you can be expecting in the Raising Wellness land, in the Raising Wellness community, just so that you guys know what's going on. Um, I really want to be completely raw and honest and present with you guys, so look out for that video at the end of the month all about that kind of stuff, and I will be continuing the new and full moon meditations because I know they're really important and they're really helpful to a lot of you guys. They're super helpful to me as well. I do listen to the videos and the meditations and, and do the same work as you guys, so I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Um, so without further ado, we're going to just jump into a simple meditation, no music, just here with ourselves and our breath our breath, <laughs> um, just, just to tune in a little bit to this full moon energy. So get comfortable, whatever your favorite position is for meditation, and we'll just get comfortable here, and you can see a real raw meditation with me. And when you're comfortable, just gently close your eyes. I will do so with you. And just take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose, and just allow yourself to disconnect a little bit from all of the information I just gave you. Maybe disconnect from all the expectation you have for this meditation. And take another deep breath in through the nose. Out through the nose. Allowing yourself to be present here right now. Continuing to breathe in deeply through the nose and out through the nose. Allowing yourself to 
arrive here mind, body, and spirit. Allowing yourself to ground down with your weight on the floor, or on the bed, or in a chair. Grounding down through the legs and lower half of your body. Allowing your torso and your chest and your shoulders and arms to sink heavy into the bowl of your hips, with spine straight and head held high. Letting go of any tension in the jaw the cheeks, the eyes, or the forehead. And just simply allowing the body to be still and to be grounded and held upright. And from here, choose a point to start observing the breath, practicing this power, cultivating this muscle of observance. So maybe you want to observe the breath at the tip of your nose, as it flows in and out through the nostrils. Or maybe you want to observe the breath at the throat or the chest or maybe the belly feels good, whatever feels good for you right here and now. Just begin to observe the breath as it flows in and out. Cultivating this muscle, this power to simply observe without trying to manipulate or change or analyze. Just watching. Letting the breath be as it is naturally flowing in through the nose and out through the nose. If the mind begins to wander and show you different thoughts or images and you find yourself following those thought trains or analyzing those images, use your breath as an anchor to come back to simple observance. Continue to anchor down in your breath for the next few moments by simply observing the inflow and the outflow.
And now with this power of observance warmed up and with this anchor rooted down deeply in you to observe the breath, we will invite in some questions from which you can begin to simply observe the thoughts that arise. Not trying to analyze or create a to-do list from or manipulate or change, but simply to see it as it is. Take a deep breath in. Observing the breath in whichever space you chose. And a deep breath out. Observing the exhale. And let us invite our first question. Where in my life can I allow deeper listening and expansion? Where in my life can I allow in deeper listening and expansion? And just contemplate that question for a moment. Observe whatever arises. Storing that information away for later. Where in my life can I allow deeper listening and expansion? If at any point during these questions you find that the mind has wandered, you've begun making a to-do list or a checklist, remember to come back to your breath. Anchor yourself back down in this present moment by using your breath. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the nose and invite in your second question. Where is my energy no longer required? Where is my energy no longer required? allowing any thoughts or images or maybe feelings or emotions to arise and observe them as they are through a clear lens, a non-judgmental, non-attachment lens. Where is my energy no longer required?
and take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose, anchoring back into this present moment and into your body grounded here on the floor, using the breath, deeply inhaling, Deeply exhaling. And now drop your awareness into your fingertips and toes. Observing any sensations of the tips of your fingers and toes. And gently begin to move fingertips and toes. And bring that movement, if possible, into wrists and ankles. All the way up into shoulders and neck. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. And do that again. Deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and let it go. Bringing your hands into prayer position at your heart center. Just take a moment here and find a little bit of appreciation and gratitude for the energy of the full moon to shine its light on the areas that need to be seen, no matter how much you've resisted them or how uncomfortable they make you feel, they're here to help and support you. So just cultivate a little sense of gratitude for that energy. And take a deep breath in through the nose out through the nose and gently when you're ready open your eyes and thank you guys so much for practicing this full moon meditation for coming back to this channel and learning a little bit more about the moon energy and how it can help you move you into alignment shed light on those areas that need to be seen and heard and recognized. And I think it's really special this time that we are in right now. It seems a lot of these new moons and full moons this year are really trying to help us shed, shed, shed all of the layers that have been built upon us, all of the rules that we have taken from other people's playbooks over the years um, and really allowing us to get more anchored, connected, grounded in the rules of our own playbooks. So this full moon in Libra is here to just shine more light, help you grow no matter how uncomfortable it is, no matter how long you've been resisting it whatever it is that's coming up for you and your relationships and this duality between independence and togetherness, just make sure that you're paying attention. It's here to help serve you. It's here to help you cultivate more deep listening and better understanding of yourself 
and what you want to bring into this world and better understanding of how you operate in relationships. So just get uncomfortable a little bit. Come back to this meditation if you need to, and I really recommend that you journal on those questions that we pondered and contemplated here in the meditation. It's always helpful to use that journaling to look back throughout the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months if this energy is carrying with you through the rest of the year. So just make sure you journal, do all that good stuff. If you guys need help and support with the mindful communication, like I said, I will link the video down below that I just created all about mindful communication. And if you have any questions, you can always pop into the Raising Wellness Facebook group that is linked down below too. We are almost 50 people strong over there, which is amazing. Um, or you can drop comments down below, open up the conversation down below with the community, or send me a direct message on Instagram. I really have been loving getting to know uh, quite a few of you guys, maybe a handful of you guys over there in my DMs on Instagram. So always feel free to reach out in those areas and make sure to subscribe hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted for that special info packed video that's going to be coming out later this month and i'm sending you guys so much love and so much gratitude as always so many full moon blessings to you guys and i will see you in the next video